Welcome back to this video lecture series on data structure and algorithms. So today our lesson is selection sort. So let's first have a look at the strategy that we're going to take for doing this selection sort technique. For this algorithm, the array is divided into two parts. One is the sorted sub array. Another is unsorted sub array. What we basically do is we take the sorted el array elements from the unsorted sub array and put it in the sorted sub array. The algorithm works by finding the minimum element from the unsorted sub array and placing it at the beginning of the array so that the sorted sub array keeps on filling and the unsorted sub array becomes exhausted gradually. So if I take this example, these will be the steps for the selection sort technique. This is the array at its initial stage. That is, it is not sorted as we can clearly see. So first thing what we do is that from this unsorted sub array, let us assume that at the very beginning, the sorted sub array is empty and the unsorted sub array is the actual array. So we find the minimum element and here seven is the minimum element. So we place this in the sorted sub array or at the beginning of the array that is done in here. And at the second step, we get this array. Now again, this part from 35 to 46, this is the unsorted sub array. What we do, we find again the minimum element and place it at the beginning of the array. See 14 has come here now. So by repeating these steps, what we get finally is the sorted sub array or this final sorted array. So let's now jump onto the programming part and see how we can implement it. So I have opened my IDE and I've typed down some lines of codes. So this is the array I have taken and I'll be doing this sort now. For this, I'll actually declare a function here. Let's name it selection sort. So the arguments that I'm going to pass for this function first will be the array and last I'll need the size of the array. For that, what we do is we simply take a variable called size and do a size of array divided by size of array zero. Now after we will be done with this uh, actual selection sort part, we can definitely print down this message. So let me just copy and paste it. Here the message will be the sorted array is. So the only thing that we have to do is define this function. So the return type of the function will be void. And here the array is of integer type. And I'll name this size as n. So here the first thing is that we have to declare some variables integer type of now I'll run a for loop here. So for this, i is equals to zero, i less than n minus one, and i plus plus. In here, what I'm going to first do is I'm going to store the ith value in the min variable. And here I'm going to run another for loop. This time the loop iterator will be j and it will be having an initial value of i plus 1 and it will run j less than n j plus plus so inside this loop what we are going to do is we're going to check for a condition if array of j is less than array of min if uh, this is the case, then what I'm going to do is min will be j. Now I'm going to get out of this inner loop and I'm going to swap between these two elements, the ith element and the minimum element. For that, I'll take a variable int tem and I'll store the, let's say, minimum element. Then 
array of min will be array of i and array of i will be the tab so uh, this should do it let's now run this code and see how it works so here is the output as we can see the initial array was 46 35 14 18 and 7 and after we implemented the selection sort we can see the sorted array is given 7 14 18 35 and 46 so the sorting technique has been implemented properly one significant thing about selection sort is that for this technique it never takes more than a big o of n swaps and uh, for this technique the memory write operation cost very less thank you for watching this video and staying with us see you next time